Oh, hello all. Uh, Scott here. Uh, I just wanted to post a little bit of a video on the throttle quadrant that I'm uh, in the process of converting. Um, Rob uh, is kind of helping me with ideas on how to do this. I know he did one already that was posted, um, but I decided, decided to do my own here. And uh, with his help, I've been starting to dismantle things. Uh, so this is it. I believe it's out of a list. Uh, it's a 737-500, I believe, um, or a 300. I can't tell, um, so maybe one of you smart 737 guys out there, pilots, could tell me, but I think that the 300 might have not had these stab trim switches, um, you know, the two of them like this, but I may be wrong. Anyway, uh, I wanted to post a little video of this because, um, and here's the all the parts for the top up on my bench. I took them all off and uh, those need to be cleaned yet but it really was kind of a clean throttle to begin with. I blew out all the dust bunnies. Uh, you could see that you know got a little wire brush in there and a little toothbrush and blew it out with an air compressor. You still got a little bit of grime in there but really not enough that I'm going to take everything apart. That makes me a little too nervous. Um, but I thought it would be kind of cool to kind of show some of it on video here. And show how a couple things work. If I can do this while I'm filming. Uh, so, up in here on the flap lever, these are just wires that disconnected right now for the light plates and stuff but this is kind of a kind of cool because this turns this outer um, I guess pulley and there's a cable that goes down each side one going down that side and then there's uh, one going down the other side oops there you go and the pulleys are disconnected down here right now, cut. But as you can see, that would that would be changing those cable, and that's going to get hooked up pretty easily to a string pot. Um, here, the throttle levers, each one has a separate whole center pivoting ring here. Now it's going to fall way down here because it's not supported with the stops right now. But it's kind of cool because when you, here let me turn this around, and you're bringing it up, you can kind of see, let me get a, see if I can get a good view here, you can see the locks in there, and the thrust reversers, and then you can see how they kind of lock in when you lift the handle. And let's come back around here. If we look at the uh, spoiler arm, the spoiler arm, really a cool mechanism in here. You've got this, this arm that comes out the back here, so I can actually move this. And that's how it's going to be actuated as Rob did it with the servo back here. We'll move the, the lever. But it's also kind of neat because it's got this, it's got this arm here. Oops, it's got this arm right here that's worked into a whole mechanism. I don't know how good it will come out in the video, but there's a whole mechanism down in here. When you pull um, the throttle in a certain position, it creates a mechanical stop. So that arm pivots up or down, and when the spoiler arm is all the way in this position you'll see that that arm goes up and here get the wire out of the way there's a little tab on the back side so it can't can't be pulled back so then when you push it forward again it gets to a certain point and then it pops out of the way and then you can pull back. So that's pretty cool. It's all mechanical. Um, the other thing is, is the trim. 
indicators. I always wondered how these work. So here, here's one, and on the other side, here's another. Those are connected together. And then down on this side, there's a lever right here that comes up to an arm that comes down and allows this to go back and forth inside the trim indicator. So this is coming down arm, arm, arm. Now this arm over here is connected. Well, it's hard to see again, but uh, let's see. As it comes down, it's connected to a shaft. This shaft has another arm that comes down to this, and this is like a jack screw. So as this turns right here, one way or the other, you can see the trim needle will move. So I'll back this up a little bit. You can see it moving. I'll move it the other way. And I'm just spinning. You can see that moving. So this little jack screw right here turning turns this which extends this arm in here which in turn turns your trim indicators. So there was a big cable coming out the back side of this. Here's the cable. And this was stuck in through here coming out the back side and that was connected obviously to some kind of motor on the end of it and was disconnected off. So uh, I'll probably disconnect the jack screw off of here and then work in a, a servo to move that back and forth. But uh, I think that's how Rob did it, so I have to check with him. And then the parking brake is over here. Um, okay. Kind of get it so it's hanging off the table here. But that would normally be down through the floor. So when you pull up here, you're just kind of pulling on this. Now, whoever cut this thing out cut right through the arm and you cut right through the base. You can see the perfect cut right through this spot right here with a sawzall or something. Doesn't matter because that's going to come off and uh, <coughs> Rob had showed how to do a, uh, a car door lock actuator to make the uh, uh, parking brake snap back down when you uh, tap the brakes. So anyway, uh, I just thought that that would be kind of cool to show some of how the inner workings of this work. And, uh, you know, kind of save some of this for posterity as I start building this. Oh, one more thing. The, the cutoffs, fuel cutoff switches. So here, when you pull it up, it turns the whole mechanism inside. And I'll get down inside here. And you can kind of see, maybe, as I lift it, it lifts a lever up, which is turning a whole wheel down the bottom here. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the video, but there's a whole wheel. Maybe the other side will show better. Maybe a little bit better over here. There's a wheel. It's turning down below. See the wheel in there? And that wheel is also actuating a whole bunch of switches down here. So you can see as I turn, it's actuating switches top and bottom. And that's how those work. Really heavy duty stuff. And of course they're on a uh, spring so they can be pulled out past the stops. Well, that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully get this thing done one of these days. Hopefully in a month or so here. Have a good evening.